One by one, the, the pirates, young Somali guys, climb aboard. I don't know if they planned to all come aboard a ship when they were designing their, their mission. My guess is they failed to exercise the procedures that we had. In fact, I'm pretty certain they had not gone through significant training. For during this time, their boat got damaged, overturned, and started to sink. You don't have to be a sailor to know that a sinking boat is never a positive development on the high seas. <laughs> However, now the Somali pirates are all on board, four of them, and they believe, and, and they, believe they have no other way off our ship because their boat has sunk. I believe that has made them more desperate. And unfortunately, we have become part of history. At this instant, I am the captain of the first United States ship to be captured by pirates since the 1800s. In spite of all this, I've got to say the pirates were a happy group at first. Why? They learned that we were a United States shipping company. They were even high-fiving each other when they learned that we were U.S., thinking they'd get a big payday from a rich American company. At least that's what they thought. And again, here's another place where I realize the first point, is point I mentioned to you, you are much stronger than you realize. It's true. Every single person in this room is stronger than we really think we are. I saw it in myself. I saw it in my crew, and I'm sure I'd see it in you. Back at sea, we can never count on anybody riding to our rescue. At sea, you can't pass the buck unless you take action yourself. A fire can be a disaster. A deep laceration can be a death sentence. A storm can be a catastrophe. You've got to be able to take emergencies head on, whether it's a broken bone or pirate attack. You get a chance to see firsthand all that we are all stronger than we realize. As I said, the pirates were happy at first. They made nice with us, but they soon discovered they had a big problem. There were only three of us on the bridge with the four pirates, the third mate, a sailor, and I, and they couldn't see any signs of anyone else. And the mask Alabama was no longer moving. They told me to make the ship go. I told them I can't make it go. They started to get mad. Make the ship go or we'll shoot you. I say, I can't because you broke it. I had to be strong enough to convince them that their problems were their fault, not mine. They're getting madder. Where's the crew? Where's the crew? I don't know where they are. I'm here with you. Then it was, order the crew to come to the bridge or we'll shoot you and your crew. I did what I was told. Thanks to the security drill, though, we had created a safe word or a non-duress word. In other words, unless I said the safe word while I was giving the order, no one was to follow my instructions. Like playing an adult game of Simon Says. And most of the crew knew to stay in hiding and ignore my orders. Well, almost everybody. <laughs> There's a on the bridge door. Remember Cliff, the guy who never gets that memo? It's him. He comes in. So now there are four crew on the bridge with the four pirates. <laughs> 